In this video, we will continue factoring special products, but we will do so when there's a greatest common factor. As always, it is important before we do any other type of factoring, we always factor the greatest common factor first. This means in an expression like 8x cubed minus 18x, before we worry about any other type of factoring, we first identify that the greatest common factor is 2x. Factoring out a 2x will leave us with 4x squared minus 9. Once we have done this, we can take a look at that parentheses and decide if we can factor further. Notice we have a difference of squares. We can take the square root of 4x squared, which is 2x, and the square root of 9, which is 3. Finishing our factoring with the greatest common factor in front, the difference of squares will factor to the sum and difference of the square roots, 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. And now our expression is completely factored. Let's try another example where we have to look for the GCF first before we apply a different factoring method. In this problem, you notice we have a GCF of 2y. Factoring out the 2y leaves us with x squared minus 6x plus 9. We now have a trinomial inside the parentheses left to factor. We do this by using the AC method, where we multiply to 9 and add to negative 6. Notice those numbers will be negative 3 and negative 3. What's important about those is that they are a perfect match. When we have a match, we stop factoring by the AC method and instead factor it to a perfect square. Remember, the 2y, the GCF, will always be in front. We factor the perfect square by taking the square roots of the first and last terms. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 9 is 3. Finally, the middle term gives us the sign that must go between them in our factors. And now our expression is completely factored. As you can see, by remembering the GCF first, we can quickly factor several expressions.